and today we will be talking about angle of inclination. Okay, so the question says Tabitha slides down a 25 foot slide that is 15 feet tall. Find the angle of inclination from the ground to the slide to do to two decimal places. Okay, so we have a slide. So we're going down a slide here. Okay, so Tabitha's having fun and sliding down a slide. Okay. And the slide is 25 foot long. Okay, so it's 25 feet. And it's 15 feet tall. Okay, so here's the ground. Okay, so if the slide is 25 feet and it's 15 feet high, that would be the heights from the ground. Okay, so. So that'll be 15 feet. We want to find the angle of inclination from the ground to the slide. So from the ground to the slide, that means it has to touch both of those. So that would be this angle because it's from the ground to the slide. Okay. So we want to find this angle. Okay. So if this height is straight from the ground and straight up, that's going to make a right angle. Okay. So that means we can use our SOHCAHTOA tricks with uh, trigonometry. So let me write that up here. Okay, where sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay, so we want to figure out what we have so we know what we can use. Okay, so if we have this angle this side is going to be opposite that angle because it doesn't touch that angle, right? So we have opposite. And then we also have the hypotenuse. We know that that's the hypotenuse because the hypotenuse is always directly opposite the right angle, okay? So we have opposite and we have hypotenuse, okay? So that's the H and then the O. So the H and the O is here, so that's going to give us sine. We're going to need to use sine for this problem, okay? So now we have sine of our angle, so we can just say that that's theta or x, whatever you want to use. I'll use theta here. Equals opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite we said was 15. Let me just put the numbers in here at this point. We don't need the units. Over the hypotenuse, which is 25. Okay, so the sine of theta is going to equal 15 over 25. So we need to get theta by itself because this will give us sine of theta, but we need theta as an actual angle. Okay, so in order to get theta by itself, we have to take the inverse sine or the arc sine. Okay, either one, it's the same thing. So we would have to have, let me write it over here, the um, inverse sine. of 15 over 25, okay? So you take the inverse sine of this side and of this side. So you could say you're taking the inverse sine of this, and then you would write it before this fraction. So it would be like, here, let me write it real quick for you, so that way you can see what's going on here. So it would be the inverse sine of 15 over 25, okay? And you don't have to simplify the fraction because we're going to type in the calculator anyway, so you can just save yourself some time, okay? So we're just taking the inverse sine of both sides, so those cross out, and that's why we have theta by itself, okay? So theta is just going to equal this, so that'll equal theta, okay? So you can just type that in your calculator, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now if you're using a graphing calculator, you can just use the second function and then sine, and that'll give you the inverse sine. So I'm going to say second, and then inverse sine, and then it'll already pop up a parentheses for you. Okay, and then you just say 15 divided by 25, and then close your parentheses. Okay, so I have, I have, let's write it over here, um, 36.87. Okay, and then it said to round to, what did it say to round to? 
two decimal places. Okay. So two decimal places, that would be it. 36.87 because in the calculator it's 0.869. So that would round up to 0.87. Okay. So, and that would be degrees. So theta right here, that's going to equal 36.87 degrees. Don't forget your units. That's degrees. Okay. So that's how you find the angle of inclination for a triangle. Thank you.